I have the lights off so um, you can see this tank better but this is the 240 gallon aquarium now mind you this mix of fish is not the typically suggested mix of fish yes it's way overcrowded um, <clears throat> but I'm in the middle of a remodel in the fish room so most of the small species are in here now this is a perfect example of what can happen in a community aquarium with something like this with cichlids. So, yes, everybody laughs at convicts because I always keep convicts. But here's one good reason why. They have fry there. I don't know if you can see them swimming on the bottom. That's the male, that's the female. They've had fry for about a week. Now, these labiatum, big, tough fish, right? They spawned in this root and couldn't defend it. Mind you, now, these convicts, everybody makes fun of, they still have their fry. But I'm a firm believer in uh, the hormones getting in the water. And here's an example, okay? So, <clears throat> we have Rio Mag Umbi. They're still small which is the best time to breed them. There's the male. I know this is the male, one for coloring, but watching them and how they act, he will keep the perimeter clear of predators, or try to, and she will stay by the eggs. So yes, that is a big mess of eggs. They're not happy about me videoing them. Uh, I say a big mess because she's very small. She is probably three and a half inches and he's maybe four and a half inches that's a far cry from two feet but that's a lot of eggs for a little girl so <clears throat> not only that but we have Salve and I from a different river that I believe have spawned somewhere in this mess of pots that's piled up back here um, and we also have a small female Jack Dempsey, very, very dark, which is a telltale sign of either fry or eggs or getting ready to. And that's a small female. And here we have a big male. Um, they're kind of dopey. He's trying to do a good job at defending his territory, but, um, if I could actually get in there and see anything, the way that they're acting, they definitely have fry or eggs. Now this is all after the boring convicts have spawned. So it, they're a good catalyst for getting the species that you want to spawn to spawn. I talk about this in my presentations a lot about using convicts in this manner. Now there is a ton and a half of hiding spots in this place, in this tank. And right now there's three pairs, possibly four, because I'm not sure about the salvanide. They're a little bit small yet, but it's not impossible um, that are spawning or have fry. And I don't feed the fry. They go through their natural feeding um, if everything wasn't all crazy, um, I'd like to try and get a video of how the parents herd the fry around to feed them. Um, <clears throat> they'll actually take a hold of the plastic plant and shake it and all the detritus will fall off and then the fry will come in and eat it. A lot, a lot like what they would do in the wild. So. Fun stuff. Um, I'll take you around in the fish room right now. I don't have very many tanks set up to save fry or anything like that. But um, if this pair, this is obviously their first spawn. <laughs> um, if they succeed to free swimming, I might pull some just for fun. So, round in the fish room, we're going dark. 
This is where the 185 used to be. It is not there anymore. Still haven't decided or figured out what I'm going to do here yet. Um, the five baby Oscars have been moved down to this 29. And I got a 10 gallon tank in here with a self cloning crayfish, the last of the Mohicans. And then in here are Sal and I from Rio Grijalva. Um, this is my master breeder BAP that if we ever have a meeting again, I'd like to turn them in. Uh, I have 995 points. We need 1,000 points for BAP. And when I called our BAP chair and said, hey, will you accept a video of the fry to get my last 15 points? These are 15 point fish. And he said, no, over the video, they're only worth four points. <laughs> and, and if anybody watches this channel or not, these are um, labiatum fry that I found before I tore down the 185. So there's probably about 40 fry in here. Uh, just couldn't bring myself to flush them. But that's it. Everything else is torn down. All these small tanks are gone. Um... And I got a couple of tens up here. This is my last um, the hell was that? Amphilophus citronellum from um, some river that I can't remember that I had to pair in this 125 over here. Um, now in this 125 are, uh, this is very difficult to video in here. Light reflections. Nick Ergwin's uh, from the Rio San Juan and some dirty glass with uh, minkly eye and a community tank down here so this is pretty much it I mean my fish room is practically nothing anymore these guys nice big male Jack Dempsey there's another male, but obviously not the dominant one. His fins are torn up. So, and these were all the fish that were in the 185 that are now in a 4 foot 120. Some gold manawens. The labiatum, I believe that's the pair right there. This is their fry. So, so there it is. stuff.